Hey, hey, hey. What is good, my fellow YouTube fam? It's your boy Aaron speaking, and today we got an interesting video, bro. You might want to stay till the end of this because we got some hot takes, bro. I'm talking like hot takes, bro. I'm talking caliente. I'm talking like Hades chilling on the beach type shit, like, bro. So I made a recent post on my Instagram, you know, where I said comment your hot takes and I'll feature you in my next video. Follow your boy on the gram because I do keep you guys updated on posts or anything hip hop related. So anyways, the first take goes to Trap Vinyl. Gucci Mane is the best trap artist of all time. Only challenged a tiny bit by Young Thug and is top three influential of all time. Interesting. That's very, you know what? I can kind of agree to that for to this for this reason. For some reason, I don't know, most people on the hip hop community, they're really young, okay? The most of them are in their teens. I feel like I'm like a fossil. I'm 25, but like most people that consider most people consider anything that's not lyrical to be trap music. Bro, that is not <laughs> that's not trap. I've seen people call Uzi, Tyler, Kanye, uh Travis like that's not trap music, bro. That's not trap when I think of trap music. I'm thinking Jeezy. I'm thinking T.I. I'm thinking Gucci like the real shit trick daddy like I'm thinking real gutter from the streets drug dealing music, bro Like Uzi none of them Yachty. Those are not trap artists, bro That's all I gotta say. So for that reason Gucci is one of the best trap artists. I ain't gonna lie uh, rap reviewer one says Kid C Ghost is not a ten; it's an eight and a half. Uh, I agree. I mean, I don't. <laughs> the hip hop community be pray sucking this album's beef. Don't get me wrong; it's a great, great project. Solid seven songs, like one or two that I don't really go back to. But yeah, it's not a ten, bro. It's not a ten. Very good album though. Uh, Shaman review says if Kendrick's next album is damn level or better, he's the goat. I guess I might have to agree with that, bro. Cause his his official album discography, bon appetit. Whole lot of trap things. Ariana over Kendrick. Might have to agree. Lil Baby is overrated. Says Shammy reviews again. Uh, the thing of, I, I guess that's a hot take because he's very popular right now, and you know it's easy to to hate on something that's so big. Like when Fortnite was coming out, I was like, I should trash, but but anyways. Yeah, I mean, I can see why somebody might not like Lil Baby, but for me, I think he's pretty talented. I think he could rap. I think his flow is super dope over these instrumentals. I don't know. I don't know if he's overrated. I, it's not that hot of a take, I guess. Whole lot of trap things. Tyler over Kanye. That's not... That's interesting. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't agree, but it's not, a, it's not too far-fetched. It might be. I don't know. Because Tyler is very unique, very dope, and... Not for nothing, when Tyler really wants to rap, like really get down and gritty on on his lyrical shit, bro, Tyler is like top 10 in the game right now. When Tyler actually wants to rap, not too many people could fuck with Tyler, bro. I'm going to tell you that right now. Love is Rage 2 will go down as one of the best trap albums ever. Again, bro, that ain't trap, but maybe you want to call it melodic rap, whatever you want to call it. Maybe. Sure, why not? Score A. Travis's next album will be better than Rodeo. I hope so. I feel like every Trav album just gets better and better. Every album, so. Tana Talk by Benny. Biggie and Tupac are not 20 of all time. Biggie ain't even close. Boy. Boy. You listening to... Ah, uh, boy. Next. Yeezus is Kanye's second worst album. I guess that's a hot take. I mean, Yeezus is like 50-50. You either love it or you hate it, so... I don't think that's that hot of a take. Dead rappers become overhated, but also overrated after they die. That isn't that hot, but it's a hot to That is a hot topic. Let's talk about it, because that's kind of true, bro. It's kind of true. They do become a little overrated, you know, because so many casuals start listening to them and start talking about how great they are and this and that. So they start becoming overrated, but then also, yeah, I agree. Eminem is bottom 50 rappers? Nah. Nah. It's probably because you got to be like super young and you're only listening to like his new shit, I guess. And you didn't grow up with his old shit? Nah. Disagree, bro. Again, Tana Talk. Gucci sleep on Gucci. Y'all sleep on Gucci too much. He's the most, 
He has the most trap albums and hardly miss. I don't know about that, bro. He got a lot of duds. A lot of duds. Those mixtapes is eh. He was amazing when he was fat. Agree. Fire. Now he's aight, but he's still better than Travis. I agree with that. I think he's kind of overrated now, to be real with you. Every time I see a Gucci feature, I ain't getting hype, bro. I'm not fiending to listen to that song. Honestly, he kind of ruins a lot of songs, especially that 1017 versus the World mixtape. Gucci ruins the entire tape. I wish he wasn't even on that. Anyways, some rap songs is a 7 at best. I don't really listen to Earl Sweatshirt like that, so I can't really... I don't know. Is it? You tell me. Kanye is the greatest artist of this generation. That's not really a hot take. A lot of people say him or Drake. Kanye's a GOAT, bro. <laughs> Somebody, what are they talking about right here? Fat ass L, who you got? Got a lot of nominees. Tyler the Creator, J. Cole, Def up there. Uh, uh, J. Cole, LOL, shut. I can't, I can respect saying Tyler, but not Cole. Why not? Uzi's the best, damn, bro, you commented a lot. Uzi's the best trap artist. This guy and his trap shit, bro. X, again, oh, this is a different, it's just a, Oh, okay, XXX Tentacion was good back in the look at me and sipping tea in your hood days, but his new albums such as Skin 17, Bad Vibes Forever aren't good. Maybe with the exception of some songs. I mean, the boy passed away, bro. Like, what you expect, you know? Like, not to the fault of his own. In my opinion, I think Skins is just as good as 17, to be honest with you. Rich Homie Kwan, my boy Rap Shrine. Rich Homie Kwan's the most underappreciated trap artist. I wouldn't consider him trap, but bro, facts. Rich Homie Kwan's one of my favorite rappers ever, bro. You guys sleep on him heavy, bro. So much fun is Young Thug's best project. Nah, I don't think it's his best. I think it's either Barda 6 or Jeffrey, but that's a good one. Uh, MOTM1, PP, and what is, oh, Man on the Moon. Oh, uh... Yeah, I agree with that. I don't think that's really a hot take, though. Graduation is not top five. And Late Registration is Kanye's best album. Alright, I mean, not really a hot take. Malibu by Anderson Pack over Blonde. I've never heard Malibu. So, is that really a... It might be a hot take, because I know everybody be sucking Blonde's beef again. But it is a great album. But I don't know, I, I never heard that. Santana World by TK is a top ten trap album. Is it? Never heard it, bruh. Mega Man slaps on that album. The whole album does. Yeah, I never heard it. Rod Wave is the best of this year's Double XL Freshman. That's that's not really a big hot take, but I disagree. I think Polo G is the best, but that's not that far fetched. Blonde is overrated, and After Hours and really, <sighs> Blonde is a little overrated. I agree, but After Hours is uh, maybe it could be better than Blonde in my opinion. X will have a bigger fan base in 20 years than any other current rapper. That's that's a juicy take, bro. That's a juicy take. I don't want to be biased. I don't want to be biased because I'm an X fan. But maybe. I mean, his fan base rides for X, bro. You know what I mean? Out of any artist in this generation, low-key. Either him or Uzi, bro. Young Thug is the most influential artist of this generation. Maybe. Yeah. I think the generation before was like Lil Wayne. Maybe Lil B, Soldier Boy, Young Thug now, maybe. He's a, he's one of them, for sure. Despite all her issues, Doja Cat is one of the best female rap... Trash. Top Shot by NLE Choppa is a hidden gem for Trap. Maybe that's Trap, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I heard a couple songs on that. That song with him and Lil Baby, Narrow Road, I think it's called. That shit fire. His energy and delivery is super distinct. Yeah, facts, that's a fact. This one is definitely a hot take. Nav doesn't need a feature to produce a good song. I agree with that, bro. People think I'm crazy that I actually like Nav, bro. Nav is, he's pretty fire, bro. Like, I don't know, I don't really understand the hate. I really don't understand the hate. Nav got some dope tracks, bro. I honestly really liked Good Intentions. I liked uh, Bad Habits. Like, I, I, I liked Reckless, whatever. Y'all just be hating, bro, just to hate. I swear to God. JPEG Mafia over, hey, maybe. JPEG do got some dope flows, some good songs. I, I could agree with that. Playboy will go down as one of the most influential artists this decade. <laughs> Unfortunately, I guess. Because that boy, if it wasn't for the beats, that he would be garbage. And I'm a big Playboy fan, so that's a shame. Die Lie, I'm pretty sure he meant Die Lit, is the best trap album of all time. 
I don't know, man. I don't know if it's the greatest of all time, but it's it's, it's a classic. J. Cole is so boring and over. This kid, he's definitely young. I could definitely tell you're pretty young. I, I mean, come on. You think Dial is the best and J. Cole's boring? You could tell. That's a common take, but I agree. J.I.D. is already better than J. Cole. That is a very hot take. Very hot take. And I disagree because I think J.I.D. still has room for potential for growth. And he's not really there yet. He's a little inconsistent. But he needs to drop something, though. He needs to drop something. J. Cole is top five all time. Kind of a hot take, bro. I don't know. I, don't, I, I kind of disagree because I think Kendrick is better and I think he's top five. So I don't know. Yeah, word. Somebody said that might be the hottest take I've ever seen. <laughs> Yo, this year's XXL is the worst year yet? Nah. Nah. I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, ah, maybe 2018. 2018 might be the worst. Excluding Trippy Red. Everybody on there. And, and, and uh, oh, I'm lying. Wasn't Ski on it or was that last year? Ski. Wasn't J.I.? Oh, I don't know, man. That's tough. Denzel Curry has potential to be top five all time. He has potential. Yes, that's not a hot take. I agree with that. I agree with that. He already got some solid projects. Zoo, Taboo, 32, you know what I'm saying? Uh, N64. Them shits is all good, to be honest. And Imperial. Saba will be one of the best artists of the decade. Hey, hey. It's kind of a hot take, but Saba's dope. That album is super good. Birds over Astro World. I disagree, but hey, that is a hot take. Everybody, especially in the hip hop community, thinks that that album is eh. I think it's a very, very good album. I remember when that came out, I used to think that shit was like the greatest thing since sliced bread. I thought that album was so fire. Review Music 6. Nav isn't a bad artist and actually a really good producer. Just needs to pr improve his rapping. I do think he needs to improve his rapping, I guess lyrically, but melodically, I think it's dope. And his voice, I actually like it. Somebody said, no, he's bad. Stop hating. His producing is so boring. His vocals are boring. I, I, I can see why people think it's boring. I can see that because it is very monotone. A whole album of, Na of Nav can get a little tiresome, but Frank Ocean is... Okay, so I'm assuming Usher is the best out of all of these. Hey, I, hey, Usher's a goat. Not really a hot take. The Sailor by Rich Brian is a top three album. I haven't heard that. I haven't heard it. The South has all the best rap duos. Rich Homie Quan, Young Thug. Uh, damn, that's all I could think off the top of my head. Uh, X and Ski. Shit, I forgot. Off the top of my head, I'm blanking out right now. I guess Lil Baby and Gunna. Rodeo is a light six and really, really boring. Don't you open up that window, bro. Don't you open up that shit, bro. Lil Darky? What the fuck is Lil Darky? I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna say that's a hot take. Speaker Knockers founded today's sound. I wouldn't say he founded it, but that auto-tune thing, I don't know, because Lil Durk started that shit, to be honest. Lil Durk been doing that auto-tune melodic singing shit since like 2011, since like 2012. Speaker knockers got up, you know, came up in like 2014, so I don't know. Juicy J, 36 Mafia, Future, TI, Young Thug are some of the best trap art. That is not a hot take. That is not a hot take. That's a fact. That is a fact. Prime Lil Wayne is the best rapper ever. Don't at me. Wow. That is a hot take, but for me, that ain't that hot, that much of a hot take because that's, that's low key facts, bro. Almost facts. Top five for sure. Tupac is top 50. The sky is blue. Like, I don't... <laughs> Trippy over X. Ooh. Ooh. Now, now we kind of talking as a hot take, bro. I disagree, but that's a little bit of a hot take, bro. Bryson Tiller over Frank Ocean. Wow, that is a hot take, bro. That is a hot take. But I feel like... Nah, that's, that's, a, that's interesting, though. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I'd rather listen to Bryson Tiller than Frank. But that's what's up. Polo G's The Goat is album of the year. I don't think that's that much of a hot take, but that shit is great. I'm, that shit should be coming in the in the mail soon, actually. I got it on a vinyl. It takes like a million years to come in. Juice World is the best freestyler ever. From what I've seen, he's like low-key one of the best, bro. Even Eminem praised his rapping ability and his freestyling ability on Lil Wayne's podcast. He was like, that boy, the way he could just come up with shit, like... On the fly like that is for his age 
was is amazing. So, I, hey, Cardi's two albums over any Kanye. <laughs> You guys gotta understand, as much as I love Playboy and Boy Got Hits, classic, you know, SoundCloud classics, all that, no. Stop. Stop. You can't be biased. He is nowhere near on the level of, of Kanye West, period. The Weeknd is overrated and Drake is better. Wow. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. Every time we talk about Drake, it's kind of a gray area because of the whole ghostwriting thing and you know what I'm saying, but it's different. Singing wise, I think The Weeknd is better than Drake. I think we can agree on that. But I think he's not really talking about just singing. I think he's talking about, I guess, the artist himself. I would say Drake is better as an artist, but The Weeknd is just a better singer. Like, Hold up, hold up. I forgot to include two people. I already put my camera away, but I got to include them because it's only right. My boy said... If Pop Smoke and Ariana Grande collabed, it could, it'll be song of the century, bro. <laughs> That's hilarious. That would be that would be such a far-fetched collab, bro. Two completely different backgrounds. And he also said ASAP Ferg has better delivery than Rocky. Yo, that's a hot take. That's a hot take, bro. I I don't know, cause Ferg do got some crazy flows, but Rocky has a better discography. That is a fact. And here, my boy said, Amine is better than J.I.D. as an artist. And Limbo is a better project than anything J.I.D. has made so far. Wow. Limbo was great. Limbo is great, I should say. An amazing project. My, I enjoyed it better than anything J.I.D. made. I'm going to keep it real with you. And I'm, that's what's up. And this one isn't as, as important, but I think Pop Smoke is a better artist than Polo. Ba Lil, Lil Baby, The Baby, Gunna, Youngboy, and any other artist in that scene. Wow. I disagree. <laughs> because lyrically, Pop Smoke kind of says the same thing. Kind of just recycled over, you know, every song. Big 38 for the weapon. It's big ML, BML, 208. Or whatever. What is it? It's, um, it's big on 92 ML, BOA. Uh, Papa Perky, go retarded. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that diverse. So I don't really agree with that. But, yeah. Last one we got the big day over roadie. I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here.